All right. In this video, it's a continuation to the previous one. This one is similar. You're given the length and the width of the room, but you're also given the price per yard. And then we need to calculate the total cost of the room of carpeting. Okay. So I created, we're going to create a project called Chapter 2, Exercise 8. Okay. It's a council application again and we'll start from scratch okay so here we have we have we need to define the variables what are the variables the length and the width as integers then we need to define the price per yard okay so we need to say int or not int double because it's a price so double price per yard And then we need another variable for what? The total price. Okay. Okay, those are double. Usually prices are in double. All right. Next, we need to give some values to those variables. So we say the length is equal to 15. And the width is equal 25. And the price per yard equal to, for example, 3.5. No, this is yard more than 3.5. Let's say 27. Okay. Okay, now here the length and the width are given in feet, but the price is given in yard. In your exercise, they said every yard is equal to nine foot, nine square foot. So in order to do the calculation properly, we will have to convert the price from yard to what? The price in feet. So how do you do it? To do that, you take the price per yard and then you divide it by the number that they give you, which is 9. So now I need to define another variable, which is double. Here, see, notice you can define variables in two ways. You can divide them up, up, above or you divide them right before you use them at the same line. So you say double price per square foot. Okay, I'm going to just put square uh, SF, square foot, okay? Equal to what? Equal to the price of per yard divided by 9. So, what is the price of the uh, per yard? It's 27. You divide it by 9, how much do you get? Each square foot will cost me 3. Yeah, because this is the result of the division. Next is to do what? We do the calculation. Now we know how to do the calculation from previous examples. All we need to do, multiply the length, the width, times the price per square foot, and that, that will give you the total cost of the room. So we say price, total price, equal to what? Equal the price per square, uh, price per square yard, Base, sorry, base square foot times the length times the width. So the only thing that is different from previous example is this here. Instead of, we were given before the price, now it's per, price per square yard. So we need, we need to convert it from price per square yard to price per square foot. And this is how you do it. You just divide it by nine. All right, now we just print out the result. Now, previously, we just print out the result, not formatted text. We want to print out the result in a formatted way, like in a currency or numbers, whatever it is. Remember, I showed you this in the table last time. So we want, to, we want the price to appear like dollar sign, the price, and then commas embedded between in the number. 
So we have to format the text. We need to change the number to a string first, and then we print out the result. So if you remember, we have, we, we did like this, a string, let's call it output, or we can call it price, sorry, total price string. Let's just keep it as it is because you're used to this. Total price string. What is the purpose of this? The purpose of this is that you convert the number into a formatted string. And why is it a string and not a number? Because you have commas and you have dollar sign and you have uh, maybe other currency symbols. And that's why you need to convert it from a number to a string. So we say total price equal to what? Equal to uh, total price Total price, if I can type and see the keyboard, did I spell it correctly? Okay, that's what, to string, do you see that? And in here, I have to say what format I want to use. Remember from that table, the format for currency is C. So I will put C. So what does this do? It says, okay, you have a number here, total price. This is the number of the result, the result earlier. We want to what? Convert it to a string. And then when you convert it to a string, I want to use C, which is make sure, it, uh, insert the currency symbol and the commas. So it would look like actual dollar values, okay? And at the end, we print out, we don't print out the numbers, we print out the string representation, the one we just converted. So here we say what? We say council dot right line and then we say the total price of carpeting is, and then what do we do? We need to put what? The formatted output here and what do we put here? We don't put again the total price. We put total price string. And the last thing, console dot read line. Okay, so that's the whole program. All right. So we define the variables above. Here's my three variables. I do some calculations, which is this part here, the calculation. These are my calculations. Then I format the output and produce the result. Input, out process, and then output. Okay? Now, if we run it, let's see what happens. Do you see that? The total price of carpeting is 1,225. Notice the dollar sign and notice the commas. Numbers do not have commas, do not have dollar signs, but strings do. And that's why we convert it to a string before we display it. All right, so we're done with this video.